kind of like a what's in my bag sort of uh, video, but I've also been asked to share my wonderful desk again. I posted a video about it, I think last year. It's been over a year that I've had this. I found it at an antique store. I've been, I'd been looking for a secretary desk like this for a very long time that was, you know, affordable. And I finally found it. And this has been, I use this desk every single day. I mostly stand at it. Uh, but when I, every once in a while, I'll actually pull up a chair and sit, but it's been a wonderful thing to have. Um, here is just some pens that have to be cleaned out. This is like my pen related side predominantly. I have a little compartment here. It's like some cleaners. This is, um, something, a polish that I use to clean pens. I use cotton balls or whatever those things are called for swabbing. Last year's Hobonichi Weeks. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hanging on to it. Uh, this is my little pen log. I have a stapler. That's so exciting, I know. And then over here I have, again, some pen related things. This is uh, been chewed on by Bigsby, my ferret, <laughs> but it is a, it helps flush out feeds um, from pens that are cartridge converters and it works really well. It makes the printing process so much easier. I have some random pen related tuning and cleaning products, some polish and silicone. This is for cleaning between the nibs. This is some micro micro uh, micro mesh for smoothing out a nib. I have Goulet pen flush. I know I could make my own, but I just have not yet taken the time to do that. This is just empty, but these are nice little boxes. They came with the Moon Man pens. And then up here, I keep mostly just pen cases, and they're not all in here because I'm using a lot of them right now. Ooh, there's a hair stuck to this. <laughs> These are like cleaning rags. These have all been washed, I think. Should be. I don't know why it's sticking together. Yeah, these are all... This is pen maintenance. I have some sacks and some, um, for, forgetting what this is called. It's a really fine powder, which you put in over the sack so that it slides in really nicely into the body. I have glue and more polish. I have a syringe. I have a jeweler's loop even. Some random nibs. And then over on this side, I have, this is cool. <laughs> I have some secret drawers. I keep like taxes and, and important things in there that I need records of. And this is just like a random compartment of <laughs> random things. This was an attempt to make a journal for someone. Um, a lot of like Leuchtturm sticker papers. Nothing in there. Some random things in there. Not very exciting. Um, and then over here, I just got this. I'm, I'm really excited. This is a little paint palette. I've used it once. Uh, over here I have my gouache and over here I have watercolor paints. So I'm super excited to have that. I've been painting more and trying to learn how to use gouache paints, which has been really exciting. This is my little painter's box. I have a cutting board. Here is um, a lot of envelopes. So I have some, these are mostly vintage stamps. You can't you cannot see that. And this is all like Sonoran Desert Cactus, 20 cents. 
Here we have the have a four cent stamp. These are from New Mexico, or uh, these are thirty two cent stamps, and they're all like monster themes. <laughs> yeah, just fun little stamps. Um, I have more stamps in here. This is eleven cents to fifty five cents. Stamps one cent to ten cents. Journal paper samples. So every time I have a new paper um, that I experiment with, I take a page of it and I put it in here so that I can at any given time like pull it out and write on it and see what it feels like with that particular pen or with that particular ink or just to refresh my memory. Um, more of <laughs> Arizona, vintage Arizona, four cents. That's from the 60s. Um, oh, I think I was using this as blotting paper at one point. This is a, a special essay from a friend. Oh, Will Cigarettes. These are my little uh, aviation cards. They came in a cigarette case. And these are all uh, aviation related. So very early planes and some beautiful, beautiful il illustrations. And I have most of the cards in the series. And there's just a couple that I'm missing and I would love to finish, finish this one day. There's 50 in the series. These are all the ones that I have. This is a giant <laughs> pack of three cent stamps. These are kind of fun because like this one in 1950s, um, Arrows to Atoms, 1957. There's another one that says Atoms for Peace. <laughs> it's just really interesting. You could kind of get a sense of the, the climate of the country. Um, old Santa Fe postcards. I found this complete set at an antique store and I'm always debating whether or not I should actually use them at the packaging is falling apart. Um, the postcards are just absolutely beautiful. So they've just been in here waiting for me to make a decision. Maybe I'll frame them one day. And then these are from letters from a, a dear friend that I've hung on to. I love how well these like cheese boxes fit in those heavies. Um, here are envelopes unused. I have like paint markers and glue stick and post-its and uh, pastels in there. And here I have some like glue sticks and rubber bands and string and paper clips. And then up here is, this is like my, my, um, what's the word? Stationary, my pen pal space. I found these incredible um, vintage envelopes um, from, uh, in a town called Flagstaff at, at a little thrift store. And they're road runners and just absolutely wonderful. I have a lot of vintage postcards that I like to send out, mostly of this area um, that I like to send out to pen pals. Usually I pick up blank ones, but if the prior um, writing is light enough, I can actually just write over it. This one. Oh, I got this one. Why did I get this one? There was something kind of special about it. And I don't remember. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ooh, 
blotting paper, more stationary. This is to my river paper. The other pad is Claire Fontaine. Another postcard. Yeah, so that's what's in that drawer. bunch of sealing wax and sealing stamps predominantly. I'm actually the original keys. There's a bunch of keys to this desk. Which is pretty cool. And then passport. <laughs> and some random art supplies and things like that. And if we take a moment to just close this beautiful desk up and not squish the plants, I will show you real quick, very disorganized drawers. So first of all, here are all of my ink collection and they get kind of pushed back. Mostly they're organized um, loosely by the, the maker and also the country. So over here I have my Japanese inks and over here I have my American inks with the exception of some Australian and German inks as well. And then because they're all in a drawer, I like to be able to open up the drawer and kind of get a sense of what the ink color is by just looking down at top. So I've put all of these little stickers with a little ink color swab. And that way I know exactly what this ink looks like without having to take the time to lift up the bottle. That is my desk. I was going to do a what's in my bag, but I realized this was long enough. So I'll just do a what's in my bag later on in the future. Thanks for watching.